Well, today, four people took the stand and testified in the John Doe hearing of Susan Poupart's murder. News Watch Files' Kelly Larson was there and is now live in our studio to tell us what happened in the courtroom today. Kelly? Asavari and Terry, for the first time, police came forward publicly with three people they wanted to hear from in court today. Seventeen years ago, Susan Poupart was murdered. The 29-year-old Lacta Flambeau mother disappeared after going to a house party. Her remains were found six months later in a wooded area of Price County. Now today, four people testified in the John Doe hearing. They took her to, woods, to the woods to have sex with her and then beat her to death. Is that correct? After 17 years of investigating the death of Susan Poupart, the Vilas County Police Department is going public with three names of people they believe are connected yeah, are to her murder. To give, well, it's a homicide case. We never give up on uh, homicide cases. Vilas County Chief Deputy Joe Fath told the court the three people police believe are connected to Poupart's death are Joe Cobb, Robert Elm, and Francis Fritz Schumann. Fath says records show the three got in the car with her the night she disappeared. Cobb did not show up in court today. The other two did take the stand, but Robert Elm did not have a lawyer, so the judge stopped his questioning. When Schumann testified, he invoked his Fifth Amendment rights. I told him that you returned to the party after that occurred and had blood on your clothes. Isn't that correct? Yeah. Vilas County Chief Deputy Joe Fass says they are not giving up on this 17-year-old murder investigation because every day they are getting closer and closer to finding the person or persons responsible for the death of Susan Poupart. We're getting closer to the point where the district attorney's office uh, can review the entire case file to make a probable cause determination. One step closer to solving this unsolved murder. Today's John Doe investigation is used to determine whether criminal charges should be filed in the case. Court was scheduled to continue tomorrow, but will reconvene in September. This will give police two months to track down Joe Cobb. Chief Deputy Joe Fath urges anyone with any information to come forward in this case.